Okay, so let's let's go ahead and start. Uh, hi, I don't know. Hello. Uh, so continuing this whole series thing. Um, today it's going to be well. I mean, I, every, every time I try to keep it simple, uh, we'll be reviewing some products after the, the calibration process now let me just go ahead and recap so right now what we're doing here is uh, replicating a full methodology dedicated to geospatial prioritization uh, for biodiversity conservation and in the current step that we are um, it's mostly dedicated to model the distribution of species or the environmental suitability areas for species. It's basically, is having a map of the group of species that we are working with and, and having them like according to climatic and land use information, uh, we can predict, we can estimate where can we have the suitable areas for that species. Uh, in order to achieve that, I am using a package called Biomode 2, which uses in one side the current, uh, the, the occurrences of the species that we are working with, which in this case is 10 amphibians, and a set of uh, specific variables for each one of the species. Um, Repeating myself, this is based on climatic information and land use information. This project uses these type of maps for past, current, and future. And by that I mean, at that time when I was doing this project, past, it was uh, the 1979, current was 2010, and uh, future was 2030. Why am I still using the same kind of variables? Uh, well, I didn't, I just wanted to make it run again, make it easier because I'm more interested in just showing the steps that are needed. If we want to update the environmental information that can be downloaded uh, from several places like um, work claim and um, or you can transform the land use information as a raster image, which is used in this particular case. Or you can also change the group of species. So in summary, right now, with all these video series, I'm more interested in just presenting the, the click, 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 and the writing couple of scripts, right? Just to see them work and what kind of stuff do they produce. So while we are right now in this step of bio mode, bio mode is, uh, needs to go through two stages. First, the calibration, and second, the projection. In the last video, I managed to run the, um, I managed to run the, the, the calibration process. I left it over there. I said it was going to take a lot of time, which was one day and a half. So. Keep in mind that this is a, I work with a seven year old computer. So maybe nowadays we can have better processing and this is also a laptop. So if you have a desktop, this should be uh, even faster, right? So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and see what was produced. Um, well, keeping the review and the, the, the whole thing. So this is the code that I, that I went through, right? So the packages needed, the files needed, the stages, which was formatting, and the models here, number of times that we were going to run each one of the models, and, and all the things that were needed. And in the end, we are interested in two type of um, objects. If I talk in terms of working with R, it's an object, but that object can be transform in a file that we can see and we will see that. So those two objects are the output information, which is basically a map of the calibration 
of the species. This one, as you will see in a second, are a lot of maps, yeah? Because the idea is that we will end up ensembling. When we are going to project, we will ensemble the most informative, uh, according to the most informative uh, calibration models that we have, right? Maybe I can try to explain a little bit better in the next, in the following video, when we will be doing the projection. Uh, the second thing that we are um, interested in is the actual ensemble map. So right now I will be reviewing mostly the output. So the evaluation information and, and, and uh, the evaluation information and the actual maps. Um, uh, yeah, uh, hello. Yeah, this is R. Um, I'm trying to put a couple of things over here. So let's go ahead. So I will go ahead and be showing the maps from the output. Yeah, which I just need to get the predictions here and create and, and just do a very quick script and having uh, having them as an uh, JPG. So again, this is just the phase of calibration of those models. And uh, let me just go ahead. So this is a lot. Uh, how could I explain it the easiest way? So each one of these times, so as you, as you remember, I had eight models and each one of those models, I run them 10 times. So that's 80 calibrated maps for each one of those. Um, Oh, okay, just as a reminder, this is just a project I did back when I was studying uh, like five years ago on, and I was studying in Mexico, right? So this is very abrupt, no, no aesthetics. So this is how these maps look like, right? So technically using the full, the full, uh, the full extent for calibration, which is the whole uh, country, this is the type of thing that we'll that we'll have. So why why did I print all these uh, maps? In this case, it's just to see that I was getting results because this is not what interests me right now. This is not the main thing. The other type of information that I was, okay, those maps are technically these files that I have over here also, which is the actual output. So the actual uh, object like this, for example, here is the, this object belongs to the, to, to the first species, right? So this actual object looks like this. And here, come on, so this file tells us each one this is each one of the runs for each one of the models in the past video uh, i show that the full extent of the country was segmented on a grid on a 10, 10 kilometer by 10 kilometer grid which in total those were 25000 cells if I check over here, we can see that I have 25, well, this was the 20, almost 26,000, uh, right? So this is actually each one of the maps that you see on those images, right? That I show in, on, on those images. And each one of these numbers that you will see here is the score of suitability according to each one of those models. So this is the main out, the information that we can get from the output. So we were going to have eight outputs, right? Uh, no, I don't want to save anything of that. And finally, yeah, it is, <laughs> it is actually a kind of heavy, heavy loaded. I don't oh, know, no, those, that's, 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 that's another thing. Now, I'm repeating myself, eight models, eight runs for 10 species, 
So you, you do the math. Now, how I will end up doing the ensemble? The ensemble, like let's say for the final calibration map was based on the TSS uh, statistic uh, evaluation, right? that number that uh, score we can see it here this is why uh, we are interested in, in using the evaluation so i just i just need to do a very quick formatting while i do that uh, i i see a uh, aster <laughs> So uh, th thank you for, for being around. Um, just uh, a very quick um, recap of what I'm doing. I'm just replicating a, a methodology for uh, geospatial prioritization for, for biodiversity conservation that I did like five years ago. I'm just interested in showing up how this was achieved and um, the scripts, yeah, the R scripts and all the type of algorithms that I use in order to produce uh, maps. I think I closed the, the whole thing. No, I will just show very quickly. Just keep in mind that this is in Spanish, right? The idea is to get again to this type of results, right? Where we were in, in a way using at the end, I use current information and future information. We can identify the most suitable areas. Uh, ah, that's great. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the suitable areas for conservation of sustainable efforts. In this case, it was Mexico State. So right now, I am technically in the third step of four, which is the whole modeling. Now going back to the going back to the evaluation information, right? Uh, again, yeah, I need Over here, I'm interested exclusively in the testing score of each one of these models. And I'm going to put the, the most, the one to the highest score. Okay, so, I mean, if we are, if, if, we're, if we have this knowledge about a statistic, we usually try to work with the 0 0.05, right? So technically all the models that will be used, yeah, it will correspond to all of this. So these are the, the most relevant models for this species, because we are looking just where now one species and this these models will be assembled, will be average, and then will be used during the projection uh, projection part. The difference between the projection, and I will get into that in a second, uh, the projection, the, the calibration and the projection is mostly the extent of the information and the resolution of the information. Uh, by extent, I mean the calibration was done for the full country and the projection will be done for the state. The resolution for the calibration was 10 by 10 and the projection will be one per one. Uh, the algorithms are technically extrapolation in, in, a, in a way, right? 
but uh, scientists they like to my peers try to stay away from those terms so okay so then that's basically the review of what I wanted to get through right now um, just I think here uh, the only reason I have these scripts is again just to create those maps from the calibration part and then to build the tables that you just saw right so this is kind of useful because we need to be sure that we are actually producing something because many times we can be running a script but we are producing nothing right now I will how much time do I have okay 15 yeah fine I'll do it so very quickly I'll just go through the projection script a couple of the difference because it's pretty similar Move this. it's pretty similar to the calibration uh, script right one one of the first differences here is I will start using for each one of the runs the one by one for past for current and for future under worse circumstances so this is important because this was a, 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 a different, right? And then, 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 yeah, I have basically the, the, the same kind of the same kind of stuff. I'm not going to be running uh, this right now because once again, um, it's going to take a lot of time. well um just uh, one second okay so so yeah so i need to have basically the difference here is to have the files here uh but the, the ones about the times and the build resolution and be also in tune with the variables that we were using in during the calibration and after that this is how the script or the projection looks like here we need to be careful or in this case i need to be careful because i always need to be changing the name of the objects depending on the time that i am using, right that, that i'm using at, at, at that point and yeah so i will go ahead and make the run after i i pause the recording here and for the next uh for the next video i will go ahead and and uh, and yeah and show the results right uh, which is going to be a little bit similar to what i show for some of the maps so yeah so as for now this is where we are we managed to produce some uh, some good outputs uh, i will try to go in depth in which of the species are producing the best models uh, because i need to see the specific statistic for each one of those and yeah we'll keep keep it moving so let's let's see how he looks like in the next in the next week Very well.